I'm Ziad Munson. Kelly Austin. Hugo Serona Naya. David Casagrande. My name is Allison Mickle. My advice to anyone taking a sociology or anthropology class is this, dig in. Uh, take ownership over the material and the subject matter of the course. Ask lots of questions. Get involved in class. Sociology and anthropology, they're not a place for passivity. If you come into a social or anthro class expecting to sit back and be given a list of things to memorize, or given the material you need to know handed to you on a platter, I think you're going to be disappointed and, and you're probably not going to do very well in those classes either. I think that our students need to be aware that the discipline liberates them in many ways, but also that requires work on their part. That, that requires that they start creating bridges with the possible fields that they want to end up in five or ten years. Really dig into the reading and learn from the reading, because if you really slow down and you kind of drink in what the author is saying, um, you not only like get so much more out of the material, but you also, uh, I think you, you get a model for yourself like about, about how to write. I think sociology and anthropology both demand a certain slowness with, uh, with writing that maybe other, other disciplines don't need as much. In anthropology, we spend a lot of time dealing with issues of cultural relativism uh, and trying to understand another culture from its own perspective uh, rather than judging another culture using our values. Uh, and that's a skill, and that's a skill that's highly valuable uh, to employers. And I would just encourage students to appreciate the skills that they're learning. They're not really esoteric and aren't going to have relevance outside of the classroom. They are. I think it's really important for students to get to know their instructor well. I think having a good relationship with your instructor can be really important. Not only will you be more excited to understand the material better, but also a lot of times professors, you need them to write letters of recommendation for you or serve as a reference for a job request. Similarly, I think it's really important to get to know other students in the class. It's best to learn about social phenomenon socially. So I think that working with peers and having a really close-knit social environment among students who are interested in the same things as you can be really beneficial.